the Windows utility has seen probably the biggest update we've done in the entire past year. And it's awesome, especially because this is something that's kind of been bothering me for several years on how we maintain programs. This is very reminiscent of how like when get UI and some of the other projects out have done it. We've done a little different big shout out to my drift user and uh, Merrick for being able to help and, and make this a thing. So first off, kind of categorized with drop downs right here. Obviously, we still have the search, but they also added a compact view. So if you just want to kind of click each thing to install, you can do that. And it is very, very easy, depending on how you want to do it with uh, selecting your package manager over here. In the future, I hope to add Scoop, which if you're not familiar with Scoop, if you look at the top 10 GitHub PowerShell projects, Scoop is actually number two right behind us. And it's a fantastic command line installer and one I do recommend. I just haven't quite implemented that yet. So very cool. So this is one of the biggest updates. Uh, this is right now is in the development branch. Now, what that looks like is you can run it today with WinDev, but we will be pushing that to the stable branch maybe by the time this video gets released. So we'll keep an eye on exactly what's going on with this side of things. Also, big shout out to all the YouTubers that have covered the utility in the past year. We've had Linus Tech Tips, Some Ordinary Gamers, Snazzy Labs, a lot of really, really big YouTubers cover this, and I really do appreciate the shout outs. Uh, we've also been featured on uh, Lifehacker and all the people that have contributed to this, uh, whether it was code for the contributors, we have almost 200 contributors now, which is fantastic, having that many developers. Uh, commit code is is fantastic and also uh six million people running and the people that have bought the ten dollar exe wrapper continually every week i'm pulling this up looking at code and every time i get these donations i, I really do appreciate it and it incentivizes me to definitely keep on microsoft now as far as other changes the tweaks uh we're going to probably redo some of the standard selections not in this update but the next update the big things here is keeping an eye on recall recall right now is kind of like a stubbed service meaning there's no real files or programs running in the background behind it but i want to see what happens in the next feature update because it's really going to be hey is microsoft that evil corporation we all think they are or do they actually remove the service altogether? So right now, the standard tweaks don't really have anything. This will disable the actual DISM feature, but uh, I'm kind of curious to see what they do with recall. So I'm keeping a close eye on that. And then also Edge, I'll probably move that into advanced tweaks and then also move up the classic right-click menu into standard tweaks because most people want the classic right-click menu as, yeah. Uh, the new one just kind of sucks. So that's what we're doing in the tweak side of things. Also, I've cleaned this up using the win one shot where we kind of go through and it has a good debug for me. So every time there's an update or I'm trying to fix these tweaks, I'm running that tool in the background just to get a really good line item of every tweak that's run and any tweaks that can't be run. Usually I'll, I'll investigate whether it's an incorrect tweak or uh, things change from Microsoft and we just need to either remove or change the tweak. So uh, those have actually been updated, very slight changes, mostly from a system services perspective, but uh, not anything huge. Uh, config tab hasn't changed too much. Uh, everything here is just mainly just making it a little easier. Uh, another fun way, like you have all these uh, legacy panels. So a lot of people are like, hey, I want this. One thing I'm using my utility a lot for, especially in business, is printers. Like this printer panel is hidden now uh, where you can't even get to it uh, from your basic control panel. So when you click on printers here, Microsoft has changed the shortcut link in I think 24H2 or maybe even 23H2 to where you click on device and printers and it's like, no, you need to use the new settings menu that sucks. Uh, so if you do actually want the old printer panel, we did track this down in the buried deep in the shell and you can pull that back up. Same with a power panel. You can still go through here and kind of uh, choose your power plans as you always have for the past 15 years or so. And uh, the green version of Microsoft's power plan, most people hate. And if you want a little more granular control, 
there you go. So those are some of the big changes here. Uh, updates, this needs to be revamped as well. So this is still on the development guidelines for the next update or maybe even the update after that. I really want to kind of clean these up because right now, uh, this only applies to pro systems. Most home systems can't. And I was thinking about using another open source tool to do this. It's called Policy Plus. There's several videos out about it to get home users able to maintain Windows updates properly uh, to where you're not on the bleeding edge and you're not Microsoft's guinea pig because nobody likes being Microsoft's guinea pig and getting a bad update. MicroWin, uh, big shout out to Coding Unders. He keeps updating this and we've been doing a lot more for ISO generation, kind of cleaning this up. I think he just added the big one since the last update I did a video about adding like uh, virtual machines, Proxmox, QMU, and those drivers can be bundled in automatically uh, when you're, you're developing the micro win side of things so that's the big changes with the update thank you all for for supporting me and i'm going to keep going back and developing i also do some live streams over on twitch and and also youtube members here and uh as i'm developing this and try and get at least a couple of those in every single month so people kind of can give me some real-time feedback and go hey titus i really like this about windows i wish we could change this. And I always am of the impression that if you can dream it up, you can do it. You know, it just is a, how hard is this going to be and how much time is it going to take? And uh, if you can think it up, you can still do it in Windows. It just, sometimes you got to go jump through a couple hoops. But with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section and I'll see you in the next one.